Hello, Andrew. Andrew, we're at the New World Stages. Which is where plays go to die. No, or they might go to be born. Oh, or born again. We're seeing Bear. It's a musical. You no, know, it's two men or two boys mm. who are in Catholic school. They are dating, but nobody knows. And uh, they're in a, a secret. They're, it's also in a production of Romeo and Juliet story. Or Romeo and Romeo. Uh, from 2004. So much has changed about gay politics in the past eight years. I wonder if this show holds up. Bear the musical. Broadway. Bear like rrr. No, bear as in oh, bear like, it all. Off Broadway at the New World stages. <laughs> Basically, story so far, boy meets boy, boy falls for boy, boys are Catholic, and they're a forbidden well, love. One, one of the boys is a jock, too, yeah. and so he's got to keep up his image. It's a cookie-cutter cast of high school stereotypes. But when it first started, I'm like, this takes place in a high school, and it feels like a high school production. I was not into it at yeah. all. But it really picked up with the love song. It really captures the dizziness yeah. of first true love. Um, I've seen this in Rent. I've seen this in Spring it's Awakening. very renty. Spring Awakening, Awakening, American Idiot. It's not necessarily breaking new ground, but they kind of do it well. They do it very well. Yeah. Now, first, you were saying politically a lot has changed since this first debuted, and but it has, except the Catholic Church has not changed. Yes. So that's where we had the relevance here. I feel as though, for the most part, this is a very funny script, cleverly written play, wrapped inside a somewhat mediocre musical. It deals with very serious issues. When it really succeeds is when it's funny and camp, and there is a number that will blow your mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a hallucinatory vision of the Virgin Mary comes down and does this song and dance cabaret routine that is hilarious. So, uh, what, are they going to get back together? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Well, that was interesting. Well, that just happened. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm really bi-curious about this show right now. I don't These, know if I'm going to go fully gay for it. I'm very bi about this show. Let's see. We'll see you after the show. I feel like on the whole, this feels a lot like high school. You kind of have to sit through math to get to lit class that you actually enjoy. And there's just a lot of numbers this show meanders through that just kind of drags down the overall production. That you need to articulate the external forces. The main that, that crisis are... is the Catholic Church. They went really easy on the Catholic Church here, guys. Speaking of going easy on the Catholic Church, Father Mike, played by Gerald E. Solomon, is about as intimidating as a bowl of green jello. Not only is he not intimidating, but he also is not reverential. Much. But who was great was the nun. Oh my god. Sister Joan, played by Missy Pyle, killed it. Yeah. She's, the, she's possibly the best thing in the show. Yeah, Taylor Trench did a great job. The entire cast did. Jason Height. Jason Height. Jason was good too. There are musical phrases that sounded as though they'd been lifted straight out of Rent and then changed just enough to not be Rent. However, however, that all being those, said, all those criticisms, it still there has some excellent moments and it's a very solid yellow light as far as I'm concerned. I'm saying green light. It's, you know what? Kids need to see the show and it's, it's a message that people still need to hear. Two green... A green light, a yellow light for Bear, 